Alright, so hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is JD, and uh, yeah, I'm coming back to YouTube, this is The Division, uh, to be honest with you, one of the better games uh, at the moment, maybe the best game at the moment, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually earn the most Phoenix credits in the shortest amount of time, uh, basically, if you're around my gear set level, which is like 183, so I would say like from 180 to 190, something like that, it will probably take you around like 20 minutes to earn like 30 phoenix credits and um, the way to do it is by uh, doing the Lexington event uh, mission on challenging mode so uh, you earn 30 phoenix credits plus like 2 for killing the boss but basically just saying 32 in general uh, for doing this mission in like 20 minutes something like that um, this mission is pretty straightforward it's pretty easy to do um, there are a couple of challenging missions which you can do to actually get a lot of Phoenix credits. Um, the Russian consulate is quite difficult, and then there is one on the right bottom, like on the right bottom of the map. I'm not sure what the name is. It's like the Warren Gate. It's something with like the timer. We have like 11 minutes to kill, like to to clear a couple of waves and to kill a boss at the end, stuff like that, like that's really the most difficult mission for 100% sure. Um, then there is the Russian Consulate and then after that there is the, uh, the Lincoln Tunnel I think, that's yeah, Lincoln Tunnel, something like that. Uh, that mission is also pretty nice to do actually, uh, but I prefer this one, some people prefer the Lincoln Tunnel. The reason why I prefer this mission is that in general uh, everyone has just a good SMG and everyone is just like really good. Um, having like a really good primary weapon which is really good for short range uh, but the Lincoln Tunnel mission is a lot of long range gunfights right that's really what it's about here as you can see all my engagements short range I got a, a pretty good SMG it's not amazing but it's, it's, it's it does its thing you know it does what it has to do and uh, that's what's most important about it this is my sniper rifle uh, my sniper rifle only has like 100,000 DPS which is not really a lot, and there is one guy in my bag actually, I think. Where's the guy? Ah, oh, there. Here he is. Never mind. Um, okay, so my aiming is a little bit off, which is alright. Um, got teammates to back me up, even if I go down right here. Might be cool if Invisible would actually help me out and not let me die, but alright. It's up to him, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, my DPS on my SMG is like 172,000, I can just give you like a quick overview in just a second. Uh, it's pretty good, it's not great or anything like that, it's, it's alright I guess. Uh, I got like 75,000 health, something like that, so 74,000, not 100% sure about that one. And one guy is pushing me actually, so I'm just going to use a mad kit, which is not really something I do that often, but you can just go back to your base, get five new mad kits, in general you might use one, maybe two per mission, which is alright, uh, because you're going to receive some mad kits back. Um, so, we got one final guy here, that's the only, like, that's the only part of this mission, um, it has some of these bigger guys. Right, it doesn't have a timer, which is really cool because Lincoln Tunnel has a timer. Kind of slows progress down. I think that Lincoln Tunnel is doable in like 25 to 30 minutes if you are my skill level. This one is definitely definitely doable in 20 minutes. We, we can see we're three minutes and 50 seconds in, and we're already going to the rooftop, which is really nice. Um, let me just see this. There we go. Uh, so yeah, coming back to YouTube, um, really it's not really that I've ever been really on YouTube or anything like that, but I did make some videos, I think that some of them were pretty informational, didn't really get like a lot of attention in general, I got like one video like, with like more than a thousand views, which is pretty cool, still my channel was kind of a bit younger back then, but you know, whatever, really just enjoy doing this, really enjoy helping people out, so if you have a question about anything, um, put it in the description below. And uh, I'll bring a lot of the division videos out, I think. Uh, matchmaking with some random people right here. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be my first video. This is basically how to earn the most Phoenix credits in the shortest amount of time. And I think that it's really helpful. Uh, the thing about this game is that, like, first I was kind of complaining about the fact that it took, like, a really long time to get Phoenix credits. Uh, but it's, it's, you know, it's an RPG. 
the game is meant to be grindy, not just a little bit, but grindy as fuck. Like, the game is meant to be extremely grindy. And now I figured out, like, first I thought that you had to, like, really, at the start, I thought that you had to buy every blueprint every time again with Phoenix credits, but right now I figured, like, I already figured that out quite a while ago. Uh, but the thing is, you only need Phoenix credits for the best items. All the other items are not necessary. There are three possibilities for masks, for example. You only need one. Like, if you get an electronics mask, but you want it to be a stamina mask at the end, you can just change that with recalibrating your weapon, with recalibrating um, the, the mask, right? You can just recalibrate whatever you want, and it doesn't really matter if you pick an electronics mask or, you know, a uh, stamina or firearms mask, you can just change it to firearms or stamina if you've picked your electronics mask. So that's a good thing to know. Um, so f in general, Fiend Credits, it's really good at the start, but at the end it's all about crafting materials. So there is a way on how to get, at least there was before the patch of today, not sure what it did. There was a way to get Phoenix credits, let's say, hmm, I'm not really sure, like I would say like 15 maybe, 15 and a half an hour, so if we're talking about this mission speed, probably like 10 or so, 10 something like that per 20 minutes, uh, 10 Phoenix credits per 20 minutes, and then, uh, well this is actually a part where I kind of have to concentrate a little bit because most of the time teammates kind of screwed up. Uh, what do I want to do? I'm gonna go for the grenades this time. Yeah, um, that's really the coolest part of the mission, in my opinion. Everyone coming out of that map, uh, everyone coming out of that door, so you can just take them out. Um, really cool if your team really does a good job on that. But um, yeah, there was this mission that you could get, like I would say, um, what did I say? Ten Phoenix credits for 20 minutes. Uh, 13,500 Phoenix credits for four minutes. So that would mean that you would get like 75,000 or so, something like that, like in high 60,000, 75,000, something like close to 70,000 or just above 70,000 Phoenix, uh, just credits in general, money per 20 minutes, which is a lot. Like that's the fastest Loud way here. to get money. I don't think that there is captain. any way quicker. And then there. besides that, you also got like at least one, one high-end crafting material per four minutes, something like that. So that would mean like at least five, probably like six per 20 minutes. And you also got some, you know, blue, you know, like quite some blue crafting materials and some green crafting materials. Uh, so yeah, that, that's, that would be like, really, that was really awesome. Oh my god, I'm fucking just up. Huh, wow. That's, that's pretty bad, like, holy shit. So... Everyone makes mistakes, I guess. Never made that mistake before, I thought we were already there. Doesn't really matter. I'll be back. Um, yeah. <laughs> that sucks. So yeah, that was like a really cool strategy. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, I mean, if it still works, I'll help you guys out with that. Uh, where's the door? Here's the elevator door. Sorry, invisible. Bull, I just fucked up. And you fuck up right now. Come back. Stay in. Okay. So yeah, we are right now 8 minutes, 50 seconds in. We are getting to well, the longest taking part, I think. It might take us like 4 or 5 minutes. And then we got the final boss. And then after that, it's done. Out of that, we got our 30 Phoenix credits and... Uh, you can just start over again, that's basically what I would recommend. You just start a mission, and then you just start over again once you're done. Just straight away, starting over again. And this is gonna be a bitch, this is gonna be, a, this is gonna be problematic. This is not a good position to be in, JD. It's not, no, it's really not. I'm just gonna use this one. Not that I really have to use the mat kit, but I can use it, so why not? There you go. They do drop mad kids. Don't be, you know, don't be afraid. I probably got one mad kid back. Oh, and I'm gonna go down. <laughs> well, I'm the first one to go down. Actually, this mission, which is not good for the video, of course. 
Okay, so thank you. Good job, team. Nice. Back a little bit. Hmm. Oh, we're getting pushed by a shoddy, which is definitely not good. Might go down a second time, actually. So far, so good. So far, so good. We got, of course, like the invisible guy. Yeah, that's. Is that the invisible? Oh, that's the even. Actually, that's not the invisible guy. So my gear set level is 183, well I'll just give you guys a quick overlook right now in just a second. Um, what I actually have and what my gear level is and that kind of stuff. It's it's pretty much as good, it's not great, it's, it's working out, it does what it has to do. Uh, it takes me like two clips in general, maybe a little bit less, but in general like around two clips to take out one level 32 gold guy. Um, and yeah, that's kind of, you know, the most important part of it. It's a long video. It's going to be a long video. Um, in general, I'll try to make some shorter ones just because that's kind of more entertaining. So here you can actually see uh, 172,000, almost 173,000 DPS. That one is not that high, that one. And yeah, you can see it for yourself. You can just click on pause if you want to see it. It's not going to wait. Here, so so uh, he did it, that's My good. So we're 11 minutes, 40 seconds in, which means that we can probably finish this mission in like just over 15 minutes. So with, at the end, just, you know, decrafting, deconstructing all the materials, all the items and stuff like that, and restarting the mission, it will probably take you like 20 minutes, you know, and then you can just start over again. You know, that's how it works. So we're gonna go to this side. What I do, this is just something that I do, not something that everyone does or anything like that. This is just something I do. Is I tend to walk this way to take out the sniper guy. Because he's kind of frustrating to me. I don't know why. It's just kind of frustrating. Then I walk behind here to help him out. And then I'm just gonna shoot at the big guy. And after this wave, after we get the two big guys out down, which is not really that difficult, only two big guys, and that's it. We are gonna have the boss with like one or two waves, and then it's done. So the boss is gonna come in now in a couple of seconds. I guess. Not I guess, I just know. That's good. I'm gonna have the shot grenades out. Okay, so we can just fire away at them, I guess, right? What you just do? You just fire away. So my teammate is blocking me, like for real, which is really bad. But alright, whatever. That's what it is, you're gonna do your thing. Uh, for the video, oh, actually, you can see, like, the boss is already down. There's gonna be a second wave coming in right here, yeah. Which is fine, it's completely fine. It's not really a big deal or anything like that. Um, one person is here on the top, so I'm just gonna take this one out. So just see, like, you know, if you would have really high that's really strange if you would have a higher gear score level which is you know completely possible you're just gonna help the guy out one second there you go good teammate um you can even do this a lot quicker you know but you can see like the daily challenging missions like the russian guns for example it's quite difficult that really that one is really not the easiest one to do um there you go Nice kill down there. One big guy left here on this side. Just gonna run at him. Take him out, I think. And that's it. That's the mission. And uh, we got 30 Phoenix credits from that. We are gonna... I don't know what this is. It's on the map somewhere. Phoenix credits. 
The rest are gonna scatter. Do you have it? I don't think we're quite done with 232 right. Phoenix Rides right now. Get you get some armor, you can just down. delete whatever you want, and that's it. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching 15 minutes, exactly 15 minutes. That was it. God knows we can't 15 minutes. I'm out. I owe you Subscribe, it. like, whatever you want to do. I just like to make videos if it's helpful for you guys. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. Who knows? We'll see what we do. Bye bye. Peace.